one town at a time. On the banks of the mighty Murrumbidgee, the Riverina district of New South Wales is where you'll find the small town of Gundagai. Pioneer Perseverance. You can find plenty of tales of Pioneer Perseverance here in Gundagai, probably Australia's most heavily referenced folklore town. Constructed in 1903, the Prince Alfred Viaduct is the longest timber truss structure ever built in Australia at 819 metres. Prince Alfred was Queen Victoria's second son and was also the first member of the British royal family to visit Australia, touring in 1867-68 when he was just 23 years old. His visit was very popular and well publicised throughout the nation. He was shot in an assassination attempt at Clontarf in Sydney in March 1866. Although he never visited Gundagai, the bridge was named in his honour, but not without dissent from some of the locals who wanted it named after William Maclay, MLA, who did so much to see the actual bridge built. Of all the bridges built across the Lachlan, Murrumbidgee and Murray Rivers, this is the oldest one still standing. It's the second oldest metal truss bridge in Australia and there are only eight metal bridges in general that are older than it in the whole country. The railway viaduct built in 1903 is the longest ever timber truss bridge built in Australia at 819 metres. It remained the longest bridge in New South Wales until 1932 when the Sydney Harbour Bridge was completed. In this configuration, the bridge remained in use until 1977, but extensive repair work was carried out in the early 1930s. In 1977, a third bridge, the Sheehan Bridge, was opened, a pre-stressed concrete bridge as part of the Hume Highway Bypass of Gundagai to replace the old Prince Alfred Bridge. It closely follows the alignment of one of the options considered in the early 1930s for a replacement bridge as an alternative to the re actually repairing the Prince Alfred Bridge. It's 1143 metres long, six metres shorter than the Sydney Harbour Bridge, 